It's a terror knowing what this world is about, and I don't think most people understand how much pressure we're under all the time. Like the air we breathe is a semi-thick, see-through soup that's always pushing down on you and pushing down on me. At sea level, the average atmospheric pressure is 14.69 psi. That means that every single square inch of skin you got is being pressed on by the air around it at about 14.7 pounds of pressure. The main reason the atmosphere is so pressurized is because it's being pressed on by the weight of all the air above it. So if you have a square inch sized column of air that goes all the way from sea level to the top of Earth's atmosphere, then it has a weight of about 14.7 pounds of force. And that means that the higher elevation you're at, the lower atmospheric pressure you'll experience. Like I grew up in a town that sits at about 7,000 feet elevation, and the atmospheric pressure there on average is about 11.33 psi. The first experiment that I know of that demonstrated the power of atmospheric pressure was a 1654 experiment called the Magdeburg Hemispheres. They were two copper hemispheres with mating rims, and there was a detachable vacuum pump that could suck out the air from inside of the sphere when they were put together. The mayor of the German town of Magdeburg, Otto van Gerke, made the spheres in order to demonstrate his new and improved vacuum pump. They were about 20 inches in diameter. In some of the demonstrations, he evacuated the air from inside the sphere and then had teams of horses try to pull them apart. He even got 30 horses in two teams of 15 one time to try to do a tug of war pulling the spheres apart, but they weren't able to do it. But when he released the valve, they could be separated no problem. Before reading about this experiment, I would have thought that the force keeping the spheres together was a force of suction pulling them inwardly. But that's not quite right. What it is, is all that atmospheric pressure pushes inward on the sphere, keeping them held tight together. And since the air on the inside's been sucked out, there's no equal pressure pushing outwardly. But when you let the air back into the sphere, there's as much pressure pushing outwardly as there is pushing inwardly, so they can fall apart real easy. It's actually that same principle that makes suction cups work. Suction cups flex against the thing that they're being pressed onto, creating an area of low pressure in there. And by the same principle, suction cups are held against the surfaces they're pressed onto by the force of the pressure of the air around them, and not the power of the suck.